Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, I decided to vlog my technical practice today because I don't think I've vlogged a single technical practice yet. Um, just because I've been so like hyper focused on having good training sessions, which wasn't working, as you heard in the last vlog. So I'm just gonna give her a whirl today. Um, just making my breakfast. Usually Taylor makes my breakfast um, because I have like uh, like nine out of ten breaking the yolk. Um, I was just gonna say, but maybe today I cannot break the yolk, and that'll mean that it's gonna be a really good day. Oh, those are breaking. What? Why do you say that? Oh God, this is not good. Oh no, that one's. Oh God. And today I have some discus and a massage. 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 So maybe we'll mix in a little bit of discus. Nobody wants to see discus. No, 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 I was just kidding. We want to see discus. I think I did it, folks. Two intact yolks. gonna be a good day. All right we are on our way to the track now. So today I'm just going to do some approach runs but I'm going to do them off of the long jump board and like try to do a full hop into the pit. Um, for some reason I struggle to like really do a full hop um, off my approach on the runway. Like when I know that I'm not going into a step like I just can't commit to it I don't know um, but anyways so that's why I'm doing it off the long jump board into the sand so I've only done this one other time it was like two weeks ago and it went really well I really liked the positions I was hitting so looking forward to doing that again and then I'm just going to do um, this drill that's like a hop three running strides and then a jump so basically I'm just like eliminating the step today a cue that really worked for me this weekend was thinking about really like riding out the hop really extending it um, so today will be good because I can focus on that in both the drills and then something that still needs some more work as always is my jump phase more specifically my landing strangely was kind of all over the place last weekend so this hop three running strides jump will allow me to really work on that jump phase have a little bit more speed um, than I would in just a regular triple jump. So I think today is uh, a really good plan for where I'm at and I'm looking forward to it. So I'll show you guys that. Taylor's gonna throw some discs, so you'll see some of that as well. Maybe. He's still mad about what I said earlier. Um, and then we're both gonna lift. I'm gonna do my full lift. It'll be my only full lift this week. And you're just gonna do some cleans, some heavy cleans. Super easy, quick. Not easy, but like moderate weight. Um, probably like four or five sets of like one, just to like get that like central nervous system going a little bit. Um, and yeah, that's it. that's it. That's all for me today. Yeah. You never want to taper too much. You want to keep things snappy, poppy, yeah, quick. So that's why we never eliminate lifting altogether. Anyways, um, we will chat when we get to the track. See you soon. As Kara is warming up, I'll take you through my discus before she starts her stuff. Um, so yeah, today's just about feeling comfortable in the ring and getting a good turn, getting a good pull, not doing too many. I watched some videos of Brian Clay and he was a pretty good, well, not pretty good, he was like, one of the best discus throwers in his time. And it just looks so simple, so I think I'm just gonna try to simplify stuff and just not overcomplicate it and just go for some good throws. So here we go. Shadow racing towards the light. I pray each 
Body's feeling pretty good. I'm just gonna throw my spikes on, get into some ankle hops. So I like to start with this easy ankle hop circuit that I do just to get the joints ready for impact. Um, this is a pretty hard track and it has been um, doing some damage to my knees. So the last thing I wanna do is like my first, uh, my first real thing that I do on the runway to be like, a super intense like bound or jump so this is a good way to get started I'm gonna do some of that and then get into my approach runs getting hype when I aim up elevating that game up stepping up to the competition only first place in that's how I'm living with it till they digging up my grave Eating all the things up on my plate Game face when I step up in the place I was born and when I watched me other day I was born and when I watched me other day I was born and when I watched me other day finished with that um, I'm pretty happy with how it went the runs themselves felt like really good I felt especially tall and like bouncy at the end I'm hoping that that's what it actually looks like I haven't gone back and watched them but those approaches felt really good so yeah obviously it's not like a true hop off of the long jump board there into the sand just because that's just feels impossible for me when I know that I'm landing in the sand but the whole idea is to just like push off the board more than I would just in a regular approach when I'm usually just running out of it so that's the idea there, I'm happy with that. So next I'm gonna move into the hop, three running strides um, into a jump. Basically the hop and three running strides is just like a means to an end to work on taking off on the left leg into the jump. Um, we used to just practice like long jumping off my left leg to get that feeling, but obviously this is more practical, you know, doing some junk before it. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today, just like being tall the jump phase and maybe having a better landing than I usually do. We will see. So I'm going to get started with that now. I was born and when I watched me up the When I show up, whole place about to blow up. Superior to that competition. I'm in first place, and that's how I'm living. I'm winning till they digging up my grave. Eating all the things up on my plate. Game face when I step up in the place. I was born and when I watched the other day.
so we are back at our place now finished up with that lift showed you the exercises we did in that um, it was really hot out today not even like super hot I guess just like the Sun is just like really intense just got back had some lunch having my afternoon coffee and Taylor went and got a massage so just gonna hang out for the rest of the day tomorrow I have recovery and then Thursday just some approach runs before we leave for Chula Vista so I would say the hard work this week is done so I feel you know relieved that now it's just all about recovering and being at my best for this weekend's meet. I feel like I'm already at the like less is more point in the season where I'm not really doing a whole lot I'm just you know um, working on a few different things but not like beating myself to death with like millions and millions of reps just kind of doing what I need to do getting the job done but the focus um, at this point is definitely just like staying healthy and making sure the body's good for the weekends rather than you know really pushing the work capacity throughout the week because being fresh and healthy is more important than you know chasing maybe that extra one percent that you can get throughout the week especially for me um, knowing the way that my knees go at any given point they could put all this um, to a screeching halt so I just want to make sure that uh, I'm doing the smart thing so that's why maybe in upcoming vlogs our training sessions won't look as intense as they have in the past we're just kind of at that point which is weird it still feels a little bit early but at the same time um, we're competing on the weekends now pretty much every weekend so it is go time we did get word today that the high performance meets that are going to be happening in Canada have been delayed by two weeks so that pushes the first one to the first week of June which not ideal that leaves just three meets before the trials so I don't know the original plan was to leave after this weekend and then we were like you know what no let's stay until after the May 3rd meet and now at this point it's like I want to go home and I want to you know be back with my coaches and be back with my um, treatment team and all that but at the same time like it's really scary to think about going home and not having anything and wishing that we would have stayed longer so I think we're just gonna do what we have to do to stay down here as long as possible at this point I don't know I don't know I guess our new tentative plan is to leave May 16th because there's a meet at Azusa where I was last weekend on the 15th I would love to compete there again and then go home on the 16th get our quarantine over with before June and any of those meets and then just hope for the best it's such a weird year I just really feel for everyone back home who is struggling to train right now and you know is getting the news of fewer meets and all that like it's just it's such a stressful situation when your dream is on the line and it's really unfortunate but we just got to find a way to make it work and hope that things turn around so that is all for the vlog today hope you enjoyed it so if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to comment below hope you enjoyed this vlog something a little different and we'll talk to you on the next one. All right. Bye.